long stage today, 813 kilometers, 505 miles, but that didn't stop the progress of the Chinese cruise. Wei Han in his SMG buggy going well. And also going well is rookie Yang Yu Li, using his experience from winning the Chinese class on the Silk Way Rally. They will be a force to be reckoned with. Martin Prokop was 12 minutes back on the stage, but in 12th position, showing just how tight it is at the top in Rally Raid. But he's safely inside the top 10 after the four stages so far. Kubish Gizgonski loved the super fast stage, but he and Timo Gottschalk overcame some tricky navigation. The Polish star was rewarded with sixth. From Argentina, Orlando Terranova has won stages of the Dakar before and today found his pace in Saudi Arabia with 10th. Having a change of co-driver right at the last minute means Nani Roma is losing that little bit of an edge. But there have been some encouraging splits for the Spaniard in the BRX Hunter. One of only three to win the Dakar on two and four wheels that aren't as many as experienced as Roma. He's just outside the top 10. Adding precious mileage to the sister BRX that is still so young, Sebastian Loeb went strongly into Riyadh with fourth. The team are happy as the car has run well as they invest into Dakar 2022 with knowledge that can only come from the heat of competition. Proven again today with no problems with the car. Nine stages left for Carlos Sainz to claw back what he can after losing 30 minutes yesterday. He has to pull out all the stops that only a 35-year motorsport career can do. He started deep off the line. He had to go through a lot of dust. He found it hard on the maps, but kept his third overall. Stefan Pederhansel said today was really the first stage of the Dakar, one to really sort things out. He just can't find any more speed, taking risks all day. But he still leads overall, but it's tightening up. We didn't have a second to relax and to think about anything else. We were fully concentrated at top speed. I don't know the average speed of the stage, but we were at over 120. After a close second yesterday, Henk Lantigan proved it was no fluke today with third. Possibly he could have taken the victory were it not for a tyre throwing a tread. But even so, he was only a minute and a half off the top step. Nasser al had a perfect stage to Riyadh. He might have lost about a minute on the maps, but it mattered little as he's taken his third stage on the bounce. And there's only been four so far. Nasser al taking the victory by just 11 seconds from Peter Hansel. Latagan, a brilliant third ahead of Loeb and Carlos Sainz. Peter Hansel's lead is shrinking stage by stage. Alatia within five minutes. Sainz, Loeb and Latagan. 